Towards the end of last year, I filmed a video covering the construction of the first 80-foot silent yacht. The silent yacht brand has been created by Michael and Heike Kohler in response to an increasing demand for a luxury yacht with world cruising ability that could run on solar power. The response to those products and to that video has been electric, if you'll excuse the pun. But nobody saw what was right around the corner in 2020 as the world launched into a pandemic that would create problems for manufacturing internationally. Well, now as the lockdown has started to lift here in Italy, we've come back to pick up where we left off and see what progress is being made on the silent 80 catamaran. And frankly, I was extremely surprised and impressed to hear how much work has continued in spite of what are, let's face it, unprecedented challenges. Whilst I expected to return to the facility in Marotta Mondolfo to film, I was told that actually the hulls of the 80 had already been transported to another facility in the nearby town of Fano for the first stage of fitting out. Here, the hulls already look more like the smooth and polished finished that you would expect on a luxury yacht. This is a great opportunity to see the space available inside the yacht before the deck is connected. So let's take a look at the layout of the Silent 80 while we have this chance. Actually, Silent Yachts are very flexible in the layouts for below deck level. But the standard arrangement provides for four cabins below deck, the owner's stateroom being the largest, and including an office area and a palatial ensuite bathroom. Actually, all of the staterooms do have ensuite bathrooms, and stairways to the port and starboard of the yacht make for easy access for all of the guests. The VIP stateroom is foreseen to be located on the port side and benefits from slightly more wardrobe space, but still the two remaining guest staterooms forward of the master and the VIP are very well proportioned and very well equipped. There is space for a crew of two in the area between the two hulls, again with dedicated steps down from the main deck. But the area aft of the staterooms is where we start to see just some of the advantages of a solar-powered electric yacht. Whilst conventional power cats have to dedicate areas in the aft of both hulls to accommodate machinery for the engine rooms, the Silent 80 is able to use these areas for the storage of tenders and toys. This is because the technical equipment for an electric yacht is so small and silent it can be distributed throughout the yacht. The generators are in fact below the tender bays and the electric motors that are completely silent are so small that they fit even under the floorboards. We'll take a look at how the power system works in a future video, but for now, let's move up to the main deck, which will be a truly vast area. Remember, the beam of this yacht is just shy of 11 meters. That's nearly 36 feet. So there are oceans of space for seating areas, an open galley, and of course, a helm station inside the yacht, and plenty of sunbathing and dining options, along with a bar area on the outside deck. Finally, most of the top of the yacht is used to capture the sun's energy through these large areas of solar panels. But still, the designer has made space for sunbathing, relaxation, and even a spa tub. Actually, I know the designer quite well. Marco Casali of 2Design. He is a highly respected yacht designer and it was quite a challenge for him to incorporate the requisites of a solar powered yacht. The main one being a vast expanse of solar panels and at the same time integrate some attractive Italian design. I think he's done a great job and judging by the number of these that they've sold, I'd say I'm not the only one to think that way. Actually, Silent Yachts are keeping Marco and his team very busy indeed, since recently they announced two 
new versions of the Silent 80. The first one is this, the Silent 80 Trideck. The result of demand from clients who don't want a yacht any longer than 80 feet, but would like to have more livable area on board. To meet this demand, Silent Yachts, along with two design, have created a large hardtop for the yacht on which to situate the solar panels, so that the top deck can now be far more spacious, 90 square meters in fact. And this in turn results in far more options for enjoying the outside of the yacht with a bar area, dining and seating all under the shade of the hardtop. And if an owner prefers to stay in the air conditioning as an increasing number of yacht owners do, the yacht is available with an enclosed sky lounge. Although I should add that some owners may prefer to use this space as an owner's suite with a private terrace. Then when I spoke to Michael Kohler on the phone prior to filming this video, he told me about the new raised version of the Silent 80. As the name would suggest, this version raises the deck level of the yacht by 35 centimeters. The objective for this was to give more head height in the cabins below deck, but this version has also resulted in a completely flush main deck without the steps to go up or down. This raised version will be the new standard version of the 80 and the 80 tri-deck, but there will also be a loft version allowing the owner and his guests to enter the main deck lounge from aft doors, as well as the port and the starboard side. There is also a standard version with a sofa on one side. Now, as a yacht broker, I can tell you that for many people, head height and a lack of steps is not really an issue at all. But for other people, it is the biggest issue. It's the deciding factor of what yacht they'll choose or don't choose. Now, I said this in the previous video that I firmly believe that the success of silent yachts has not been due to some flashy and expensive marketing campaign, but rather due to the fact that Michael and Heike listen to what the market wants and then they react to it in a speedy and efficient manner. And what success they are having. When I came here to film silent yachts, I was really interested to see how they were getting on during the lockdown period. And I find out that not only have they moved the AT to this new facility for fitting out, but also they told me that they've sold another four units during the lockdown period, four yachts. One is another Silent 80, and the other three is actually their most popular model, which is the Silent 60. In fact, I really wanted to show you this, which is the plug of the hulls of the Silent 60 here in the same facility as the 80. As you may know, production yachts are built by first creating a life-sized wooden model of the hull and superstructure called plugs, from which a mould is made, and then the mould is laid up with glass resin composite, in the case of silent yachts, under vacuum for strength and for lightness. And then these components are fitted out for launch and delivery. Actually, in another one of their production facilities in Thailand, there is a veritable production line of this 60-foot model with units in various stages of completion. I've been involved in the yachting industry for about 25 years now, and I don't think I've ever seen a relatively new brand receive so many orders in such a short amount of time. It really is quite remarkable and now silent yachts are transitioning from a time when they had to show clients yachts in construction to a shine that they can show clients yachts that have already been built. They've sold 25 solar electric catamarans. Now eight are currently in construction, but 11 have already been delivered to satisfied clients who are cruising the world's oceans. Now that is something that I can't stay silent about.